Okay, so the platforming is so much easier if you just basically organise the platforms first, then fill it with water. And across we go. Into a... Uh... There we go. Lovely. Looks like we've got to get out through that sewage, well, sewage pipe and this roof. If we get up onto this box, somehow. Come on, why can't I pull it? There we go. Let's use one of these for steps. Is that enough? There we go. Wait, he had something to say, and... How I would love to get out of here. Lovely place to wind up, Philip. I've had better days. Foul smell. Surprisingly enough, Philip hasn't ha had the need to go to the bathroom yet. Okay, there's a safe point in here, so this must be safe. How much battery do we have left? We need to use some more of this. There we go. No shit. It's actually quite a nice room, isn't it? Or maybe I just have low standards. I'm, w I'm more willing to bet that I just have low standards. Flare. Batteries. And uh, let's see, let's see. Nothing. Oh, we were on such a good run. Let's just uh, chill out and watch the television. Okay, no, that's a gigantic waste of time. I'm sorry. <coughs> Computer. Okay, so we need to be finding power, obviously. But we'll be doing that after we save. Nothing under here. Nothing. What the hell? this is all about. But that was easy. Okay. Oh. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel. I'm Abel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello? Can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting... strangely when I last saw him. Hmm, what else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Accounted for. Did... did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Enough already. My sides are splitting. 
Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. Okay, well that was certainly something else. Um, the first actual real conversation in all of Penumbra just happened right here on this computer screen. And uh, that little voice in our head, we're going to be hearing a lot more from him, I can assure you of that. <laughs> and uh, he seems like he's going to be uh, a very useless companion. So, the organisation they were talking about was included in a note, I believe, we found earlier, which Howard was a part of, that just like some sort of secret organisation. I think it was mostly to do with the Turngate and some sort of religious foundation, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't read too heavily into the lore, but I might actually have a look into that later. Just give you a minute to read this. Okay, so it just seems like it's just some basic notes on the uh, on the matters of the virus, I suppose. I didn't really read that through so quickly. Well, so well. And we'll go through here. <laughs> but by that point, I was pretty sure she'd turn out, she'd turn out to be crazy. What gives you that impression, Philip? Can't be anything that logical. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature, and yet I find myself at a loss. Huh. Any ideas, monkey? much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? 3,103 and a half films, you see? You only got the first half of It's a Wonderful Life in here. Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. You know, Clarence. That's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. Okay. Well, that was very uh, distortionate. And I'm still getting some red flickers. Hopefully we won't hear too much from Clarence. Uh, it's blocking the door. I can't see it. But um, yeah, I'm not I'm really going to say much about Clarence. He pretty much speaks for himself. I don't know much about him either or what he's going to say. So he might end up interrupting me occasionally. I'm not entirely sure. Jammed. That's the door we just came through. No. And no. Storage, infirmary, computer central. We're going to go to storage. As I stated in the last videos in Penumbra Overture, storage is, or storage rooms are generally the best way to go. But I am very um, uncomfortable with the uh, manner of these halls. Hmm. Armory? I wouldn't mind an armory. Any guns? Handguns? MP5Ks? SMGs? Lots of ammunition. A bed. Nice. Uh, no. Let's get that glow stick out. I can barely even open this. Can I even get it to stay open? There's got to be something good in here. Okay, there seems to be nothing. <laughs> There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Had a tetanus jab recently? 
your voice isn't very useful when I just heard a turn, well one of those, I think it's a turn guy, I'm not sure, one of those goddamn aliens in the distance. I almost didn't hear him because of your voice, fucking Clarence. It's not easy when I have an actual voice that comes back, well actually talks back to me now. I haven't blocked this path off, I probably should have. Oh dearie dearie dearie. When is it a good time to look? Probably never. Because now that I know it's outside, I don't really want to be trying to go outside. I'm not even sure. Great. I'm having a glue to my seat moment. <laughs> what do I do? Do I stay? Do I go? Maybe if I head over here. Actually, no. If I keep the door open, I have more cover. Maybe I can hide. Ah, uh, glitch. I really don't like that noise. This will not end well, will it? I hear footsteps. It's just outside this door. So I'm going to wait just a little bit. Why can't I... Oh shit, that's why. The door opens outwards. Okay, we're going to peek through this crack and we're going to see if we can see which way he's heading. If he heads past this door at all, that is. Where are you? Don't keep me waiting here, boy. I think he's coming over from my left. There he goes. He has a crowbar? Gonna slip through here while we still got a chance. Please tell me that motherfucker didn't see me. Okay, he doesn't have a flashlight, which is a plus. That means we have some chance of hiding. Something from behind that door. I really don't really want to go in there, then. Uh, door, safety. Oh, come on. Are you joking me? Sigh. 